everyone, it's Katherine Pooler. Welcome to the fifth video in my series on mass producing Christmas cards. So let's review real quick. Here was the first one. And then we move to the second one. And you notice um, similar layout. We're just cutting cardstock in half and then quarter sheets and layering them on top of each other. We embellish this one up a little bit. And then the third one, we did the ornament punch for a window card. And the fourth one, we did the vanilla layer, four by five and a quarter, and then the designer series paper, which is three by four. And if you viewed the last video, um, you got the tip, which it didn't occur to me for quite a few years of paper crafting, but it seems so basic. If you do three by four, it's going to work out exactly onto a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you're not going to have any waste. If you do your paper, your card this way and cut your designer paper five and a quarter by two or whatever, it's not going to come out exactly right. So I do like to cut mine this way just because it it's mathematically perfect. <laughs> so we're taking the um, same supplies from this card and we're making another card. Now I saved, if you watch the other video, you'll remember I have the little scallop border here. I saved that. I have another piece of DSP and this time we're going to actually do a little bit more stamping and accessorizing on this card. So we're getting progressively more elaborate while still keeping it simple so that you can mass produce. This stamp is from the Wordplay stamp set. Love it. And I'm stamping it in stays on black because I want it to be really black. And then when I color, I want the coloring to uh, not run, make the uh, outline run. So I'm just using some wild wasabi marker here, which coordinates with the colors in my designer series paper. And then we'll do the red. Okay, so we've got our image all colored in. I want to add a little bling. So I'm just going to cover this with my two-way glue and add my glitter to it. My glitter is a little messy right now, so I'm going to be covered in it. Okay, so we have a nice blingy Christmas ornament here. I have my one and three quarter inch circle punch. So just punch that right out. And then I have wild wasabi cardstock. So we're going to do some layering here. Adhere those together. And then we'll work on the base of the card. I have my scallop strip here. I'm going to add my designer series paper right to it. Oh, I'm covering up this beautiful glittered paper. It's painful. And then we're going to add this to our vanilla base. And you can do it toward the bottom, toward the top, in the middle. A couple dimensionals because we want to pop this up. We'll add this layering to our card base. There we go. Check it out that fast I have an awesome card and you can see these are exactly the same layout I just tweaked it up a little bit hope you're learning a lot from my video series and leave me your comments like the video if you like it share it on Facebook hop over to katherinepooler.com and join my email newsletter list thank you so much have a wonderful day and happy stamping